guys welcome back okay so let me just go ahead and throw this out here this video is not really for you guys per se it's more so for me because i want this palette i mean i am dying to get this palette i almost drove to the morphe store to go get this palette that's how bad i want it I keep talking myself out of it, then talking myself back into it. <laughs> and it's like, I want it. I like it. Why can't I just buy it? You know, I like it. Just buy it, right? Well, the reason why I'm fighting it so much is because of the fact that, oh, and not to mention, it's it's in my Morphe cart right now with the discount code and everything, just ready for me to push purchase. Yeah, it's it's waiting. But the reason why I'm trying so hard not to buy this palette is because I have these colors. I know I do. And I really need to try to stop buying every beautiful palette that comes out just because all of the colors that I love are in one place. You know, I know I have all of those colors in that palette somewhere in my collection. So yeah, that's what I'm doing today. <laughs> is trying to just gather up the palettes that I know have these colors in it or similar ones, ones that are close enough for me, you know, because like I said, this video is really for me so that I cannot buy this palette, <laughs> okay? I bought the first Jaclyn Hill and Morphe collab palette, used it once, maybe twice, and depotted it, <laughs> okay? So... I bought all of her vault palettes. I used one of them, I believe, the Dark Magic, which I actually really liked. Haven't used the other ones. So it's kind of like the madness has to stop at some point. And the reason why this one is so hard is because this palette is gorgeous. It has all the colors I love, purples, pinks, bright oranges, a beautiful yellow, you know, it's just reds, warm tones. It's gorgeous. So yeah, this is a tough one for me. And at 39 bucks for 35 shades, it's kind of like... <sighs> so hopefully you guys don't mind just sitting here with me as I go through a few palettes that I pulled from my collection just to kind of say, hey, look, you don't need this, KK. You got these colors. Just chill out on this one. And Another thing, I mean, look, we all know how much scandal has surrounded Jaclyn Hill, right? Crappy products, just all kind of stuff going on. And for once here now, after all of the scandal, there's a palette that comes out and there's actually a whole plethora of amazing reviews for it. <laughs> Okay, so that is making it even harder for me not to get it. So, but yeah, you guys help me fight this, okay? Help me fight it. So look, I'm just going to go through some of my palettes and explain why it is that I don't need this palette. I'm trying to convince myself, not you guys. I'm trying to convince myself, okay? So we're going to put a picture up. I don't know what side is it going to be on, what side? We're going to put a picture up of this palette and the swatches that were on trend mood and just kind of compare the palettes that I have, you know, to these swatches. Okay, so when thinking about palettes that I have in my collection that have these beautiful purples and pinks and reds, the first one that came to mind is my Norvina Volume 1. We all know about this large palette from ABH and Norvina that um, came out and I basically went goo goo gaga over because of all the purples in here and as you can see of course in here there's a whole plethora of purples gorgeous different tones and shades it even has these really pretty kind of like peachy coral shades in here bright you know orange type neons and stuff it also has this pigmented black as well as a white and i do notice in her palette she does have the purple tones. She has what looks like <clears throat> maybe one of these kind of like neon shades. 
in there. This is a really, really bright red as well. She has what looks like either a white or a bone color in there. So as far as the black and the white and the different tones of purples, I think that this will cover a large amount <laughs> of those shades. You know, it looks like there's a couple of purple shimmers in there as well. So let me go ahead and check some other palettes and see what else we have. Now, this palette here does not have any shimmers in it, but I think as far as the purples, pinks, orange, yellow, all of those tones, I think I might have it covered with my Certify. Now, this is the Certify Affinity palette, and this is the one that has all of these gorgeous shades in it. Do you guys see this palette? Okay. Look at these purples here and tell me that I don't have the purples covered. Look at these pinks. This one, very gorgeous bright pink right here, which it looks like that pink that is like the main pink in that palette. There's also some bright orange tones, reds in here, kind of like neon type shadows as well as yellows in here. So this definitely has me covered as far as the matte shades go with this palette. I mean, all right here, everything right here, okay? Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, ah, yeah, KK, there's a pink or two in there, but, you know, you might not have the same pinks in there. Might not be covered because, you know, those are some really pretty pinks in that palette. Um, Okay, so I have this sweet valentine palette from lurella i did purchase this recently this is brand new from them and i could not resist it's so so gorgeous let me show you what the inside of this palette looks like so this is what this lurella palette looks like as you can see gorgeous gorgeous matte pinks in here you have light matte pink dark matte pink super bright matte pink <laughs> There's also some gorgeous pink shimmers in here. This deep, dark purple shimmer. It even has like a plum color. So there's a very nice variation of pink shades in here for me to play with. I've even got this beautiful lavender shade here. And looking at the palette, I see that there's a lavender in there as well. So I got my lavender covered. So I think between this palette and the certified palette, I definitely have the pinks covered. So now that we have the pinks and purples squared away, also the black and the white, let's address some of the gorgeous kind of like burgundy red tones in there because those are some really pretty deep reds as well as some super bright reds as well. Okay, so I have my Morphe. 3503, okay, hello. <laughs> and uh, you guys see the colors in this palette? Okay, do you see all of these super bright pinks and oranges right here in this section? Of course, you have, you know, your neutral tones as well, which she has some neutral shades in there also. There's some gorgeous pinky tone shades, but there's some beautiful deep, burgundy tone reds in this palette as well so i definitely feel like i have any of those burgundy shades covered in this palette there are some really pretty burgundy tone shimmers as well because it looks like she has some shimmers in there that are kind of like deeper darker tones so yeah i definitely feel like i have like some pretty red and burgundy tone shimmers in this palette as well as you can see here really really pretty and i mean these bright orange and pink shades have definitely got the ones in her palette covered okay now you might be looking up kind of like in that right hand corner i don't know if it'll be the right for you guys with it be on the screen but on the right hand corner where you see kind of like those really light soft pink peachy shades and it has like those light shimmery shades as well now as i was looking through my collection i remembered that i have the color pop sweet top palette and when i looked at this sweet top palette 
I saw that I have several nice, light, soft, peachy shades, as well as some really, really pretty shimmers over here that could definitely, you know, take the place of the light tone shimmers and mattes that are in that upper portion of the Jaclyn Hill palette. Definitely, you know, me personally, I don't use those shades <laughs> anyway, because they are so light. I usually go for the deep, dark, bold colors. So that really wasn't a concern for me. But, you know, if you're trying to dupe this palette as well, and it's a concern for you, then, you know, this palette definitely looks like it can kind of handle some of those shades that are in that upper portion of her palette. In addition to that, I also have this new LA Girl Pro Mastery palette. Okay, I did do a video using this palette. Oh, this palette is really, really nice, you guys. But as you can see, there's some really pretty light, pinky, rosy toned shades in this palette as well. Gorgeous shimmers in here. Do you see all these beautiful shimmers? Oh my goodness, you guys. If you wanna see this palette swatched, check out my video. I'll go ahead and link it above. But the shadows in here definitely would be able to do the shadows that are in that Morphe palette. I guarantee it. And lastly, out of my collection, I see that, you know, she does have a few deeper, warmer shadows around that area where that beautiful yellow and orange is, you know, there's a few deeper warm tones in there as well. So I did go ahead and pull out my ColourPop California Love, okay? Just kind of looking for shades that would kind of be able to give me some more transitions and some more beautiful shimmers like the ones in her palette. So these are the shadows that are in this palette here. My California Love from ColourPop. As you can see, there's a gorgeous kind of like yellow shade here. This beautiful brown, some really nice cooler tone um, shadows down here. Let me go ahead and just give you guys a few swatches from each of these palettes just so you can see what I'm talking about. So these are a few swatches from the California Love. Absolutely gorgeous. Next, I'll do a few swatches from the Sweet Talk ColourPop palette. Those were a little close together, but you get the idea. I'll do a few swatches from the LA Girl Pro Mastery palette. So those are a few swatches from the Pro Mastery palette. Let's do a few swatches from the Sweet Valentine palette. Oh, that's pretty. That's kind of like a duochrome type shadow, that pink shimmer. Oh, that's gorgeous. Now let's swatch some of the shadows from this Certified palette. I'm running out of arm, you guys. <laughs> and with these shadows being so bright, you know, of course, they're going to swatch a little dusty. <laughs> These are the most awkward swatches I've ever done. Trying to fit so many on my arm. <laughs> but those are some from the Affinity, the yellow through the purple. Let's swatch a few from this Morphe 3503. Ooh, those are bright. Ooh, whoa. Neons for real from that 3503. Let's swatch some of these shimmers also. Whoa, look at those shimmers, you guys. Those shimmers are gorgeous. And lastly, let's do some swatches from the palette that started it all. <laughs> I 
my fingers are going to be so stained. <laughs> so stained. I'm totally running out of places to swatch. And lastly, I'll do the white and the black also. So that's the white and the black from the Norvina palette. And I want to swatch a few more because of all of those beautiful, deep kind of burgundy shades in there. These are from the Norvina palette. Oh, gorgeous. Oh my goodness. Look at those shades. So, so pretty. I definitely feel like those can easily dupe some of those deep burgundy shades in her palette. So yeah, you guys, I think, <laughs> I think I have it covered. <laughs> it might be across a span of five, six, seven palettes, but I definitely have it covered. So, so I might actually be able to talk myself out of buying this palette. Okay, so now that we've established that I don't need this palette. I don't have to buy it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and throw some of these colors on my eyes right quick.
size that I came up with using these palettes that I kind of grabbed and just felt like they had some of the same or similar shades as the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Times 2 palette. And I must say, I'm pretty pleased with the eye look that I created today. And for the most part, I gravitated to the shades that I would typically gravitate to, I think, if I had that palette. So I am very, very pleased. And I think that I've kind of given myself <laughs> the ability to just kind of step back, chill, and say, you know what? That's one palette you don't have to buy right now, KK. If you want it in six months or so and it's on sale, then knock yourself out. But right now, just chill because you don't need it, okay? So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me to come up with these dupe shades. And I will see you on my next video. Toodles!